You want to play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller, whether it is a controller like this, like an Xbox controller, or a PlayStation controller, a Steam Deck, a Switch Pro controller, any of that, it will work in this video. And the first thing we want to do is get the Midnight Controls mod. This is the mod that actually adds controller to support to Minecraft, and you can find it, as well as everything else we talk about in this video, linked in the description down below. The first thing we want to do is find the Fabric 1.21.10 version of the Midnight Controls mod. And once you're here, go ahead and click the green download button button next to it and you'll need to keep or save this file. We also need to get the Fabric API. This is an API mod that is required for Midnight Controls to work. Obviously it's linked down below. Click download, go to files and grab that 1.21.10 version. Once you've got that, we will also need to grab Fabric, but first, have a quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want, and there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to start a server. Start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Nevertheless, we have now got the Fabric API. The last thing we need to get is the Fabric Mod Loader itself. This is what actually links the Midnight Controls Minecraft Controller Mod to Minecraft. And you can find it linked down below. Click Download here to go to the official download page. Or we just want to click Download for Windows and the download will begin where you may need to keep or save the file. Now at this point we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we're going to be able to find everything in our Downloads folder. We want to go ahead and open up the Fabric Installer here. Just like any other program, double click on it. It will open this. We want to make sure we have 1.21.10 selected and then we want to create the profile and click install. It will now install everything and as you can see it is successful. If you do have any issues, it's most likely because Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are open. They both need to be closed. Click OK, close out of the Fabric Installer, and delete it. Now we can get our mods installed. I'm going to move them to the desktop just because it's going to be easier to move them into the folder we need to from there, but that's not required. We can then go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then at the top we want to go to Installations. Then we want to find this Fabric Installation here, hover over it, and click the folder icon, and this will open up your Minecraft folder. Now you should have a Mods folder. If for whatever reason you don't have a Mods folder, just make one. Now drag and drop Fabric and Midnight Controls into your Mods folder. It's that easy. Now play Minecraft with Fabric. Now we've not plugged in our controller yet, but as soon as we're in game, we can go ahead and plug our controller in and it will automatically be recognized as you can see there in the top right. Now we can control basically everything. We can navigate menus. For example, if we go over to controls in our settings, in the top right up here, we will have this, which is the basically whole entire settings section for this mod where you can change keybinds and everything. By default though, it's very similar to Bedrock Edition. Obviously you can join servers, all of that stuff using your controller as well. At this point, you're good to go. You now know how to add the controller mod to Minecraft 1.21.10 and start using a controller and having copper golems at the same time. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next one and I'm out. Peace.